Hey guys, today I'm going to animate an object along the path. So we will draw the line and then our object will move along this line in Keynote. You can also download this Keynote file that we're going to create today. Link is in the description. So here is my little Pac-Man. I just download this thing from Google Image. This is GIF with just two frames. So this will be our little hero for today. And now I'm going to change the background color of this slide. We need something darker. Maybe like this. And I'm going to use table as my maze. So I'm going to create a table. And then I'm going to use cell borders as line to create maze. Take a look. So we can adjust the line, we can adjust the color and width and we will do the similar thing with lines inside. But first let's reposition this table. Start here. I will need a few more columns here. I'm going to select multiple cells. Now we can hide borders. So we got this blank canvas. And now I can simply add borders that I need for my maze. So click the cell, then click the position of the border you need and select the style for that border. You can select multiple borders put the line around. Now I select the single one. So we are building this maze using table. If you want to save some time you can simply find some maze using Google image or stuff like that. But it's also possible to do it using table. First I kick out all borders and now I'm just adding single borders that I need for my maze. Okay, few more. I can select more than one cell like this. Just drag your mouse, select multiple cells, then you can add border. Okay, and maybe over here we got three cells together. Okay, perfect. So we got our little maze here made by using table. I cannot select my Pac-Man, so I need to move this table element to the back. Our elements are on layers, so this needs to be on the layer below the Pac-Man. And here it is, we can move it to the back. Perfect, now the Pac-Man is at the top. I can select the Pac-Man and place at the beginning of our maze. Now I'm moving to animation tab. And here we can pick move. Now by just dragging this hotspot, this key point down here, we can set up the movement and click the plus button and then move and we got new line. This way we can build the path for our object to move along. Drag it down. Okay, so this is not a new feature. This is something that was added to Keynote a long time ago, but there is actually a new feature in this old animation tool. Now we can 
twist our shape, rotate our shape along the direction of the movement. So this is totally new and it's really useful. I'm going to show you that in a minute after I finish drawing my movement path. So I got a little loop here and then we can continue to the right. Click plus. Now I cannot see it so I need to zoom out a little bit. In the top left corner there is zoom tool we can zoom out here okay now i can reposition this one so this is a, not a new feature as i mentioned we can draw a line and move object along the line for a long time but there is a new feature to that line now we can also rotate the object automatically based on the direction of the movement you will see it in a moment And now we can click on this checkbox. This will align the direction of the movement. So, rotate of the object. Thanks to that checkbox, we will rotate the object to align with the direction of the movement. So now I need to go back to all key points that I have created and click on this checkbox. I think there's some double points here. I got this loop thing, so I need to move them for a moment and check what is under. Mm -hmm. And here as well. Thanks to that new feature, the animation will be really fluid. It will rotate the object for us. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, seems like we are ready for a test. Okay, I will play a test now. Okay, so GIF is working, but my direction is not right. And I know why. I'm going to show you how to fix that. The object is rotating but not in the right direction. It's why because on the first position I will need to rotate it to face the movement direction. We are not moving to the right, we are moving down. So I need to rotate my picture. As you can see, all other keyframes are rotating at the same time. Really nice, right? So after I rotate this down. You can put the number or you can use the little icon to rotate this. If you hold shift and use the rotation icon, you will got like it will jump like 10% or 50% around. Okay. We should go 270 degrees. And now we position this down. Let's give it a go. Rotating to the right, rotating down to the left up to the right so now it's working so we are moving our object along the line and it's also rotating itself nice so this is the new feature now we can move the object along the path and we can also keep the direction of the object so the object will point into the correct direction what else we can do we can now make this automatically now I need to press every time I want to move to the next line, next path, I need to click my mouse. I can change that here. So this can be automatically after the previous one. I can select multiple steps, all of them, and now change. This way the animation will play from the beginning to the end just after one click. I don't need to click for each turn. Let's give it a try. Here it is, it's working well. You can download this file, the link is in the description. If you have learned something new, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in my next tutorial.